my goodness. Look what I just got in the mail. I mean, FedEx it shipped to me. I'm so excited. I just got it on the door. I just knocked on the door. And my package is here. I've been tracking it because I knew it was going to come in any day. And it's here. And I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm so excited. Look who's there on the cover. If y'all haven't checked out her channel, you should. Relic Recoverist. And let's see. I think that is Nugget Noggin in the river. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This is a piece of my art behind me that I just recently painted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and um, show you real quick. And then I am going to head out on a four hour drive um, to my parents in East Texas and test this baby out for you on my cousin's farm. Uh, where an old homestead was you've seen in probably several of my videos I've been waiting for this to come in and test it out on a high iron area and see what the results are and I will hopefully have some live digs for you so I'm going to open this up and um, take a quick look at it uh, maybe put it together before I get out on the road and um, uh, hopefully by this evening I'll be able to hunt for a while um, it is now, let me look at what time it is, 12.12, 12. and, um, so it's going to take me at least four and a half hours to get there, and, uh, so let me open this up and give you a quick look at it, and I'll get it put together and get on the road so I can go hunting. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Here it is. I just opened the box. Got my brand new AT Max hat. I'll wear it while I'm using my detector for the first time. And uh, I've got a cool cover here. And I will be reading this. And we've got the Z Link wireless headphones that I can't wait to try out. I've only tried out wireless headphones once before and I really didn't care for the ones that I had that those were when they kind of had first come out. And uh, these I'm excited about because they specially made for um, the Garrett AT Max the Garrett machines. And I'm super excited to try them out. And, uh, okay, well, I'm going to put this baby together. And um, I will see you, hopefully, on the farm later today. Uh, wish me a safe trip and um, happy hunting. And I will see you. Hey there, friends. I just got to East Texas. Uh, just got the AT Max out. And I haven't hunted with it yet at all. Uh, I just turned it on. I haven't set anything except I did change the setting to um, all met to uh, zero discrimination uh, with a zero iron uh, disc. Uh, that means I'm not discriminating out any iron because I want to hear the the. I don't want to X out, discriminate against any iron right now because I'm in a place where there's lots of iron. I want to be able to hear any kind of high pitch. So I've got my very first hit with the AT Pro. Now it's jumping all over. Uh, come around here and take a look. Let me show you real quick. Probably a big piece of iron. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to live dig this one. It's something big. Let's go along here real quick. I haven't grand balanced the machine yet. Sensitivity is on high. We'll come back to that. There's all kinds of iron. I'm just listening for a high squeak right now. As you can tell, I've got plenty targets because I'm in a high iron area. There's something a little higher right there. Well, it's not very deep though. We'll go ahead and dig it and get back to you and let you know what the very first find is. Okay, very first find with the uh, AT Max, almost called it the AT Pro, was this little piece of iron. And then just got this, dug this hole and got this. At first it looked to me like a horseshoe, but it's not a horseshoe. It's got two um, round things where something would have went through right there, but neat find. Uh, there's going to be tons and tons of iron relics and stuff here. So, um, the weeds are really high this time, so, um, I'm going to stick to this area right here, um, is where the old home site was. So, uh, stick to here and then try to get maybe back over there in those weeds some, but it's going to be hard to detect in. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, the third decent target uh, out here. This was hit in the, in the 80s. Um, it was a bit choppy, so I wasn't for sure what it would be. But check it out. An old hatchet head. This is really old. Cool find. All right. I'm going to keep on plugging along. Uh, right over here, let me find it. Right there, that clump of bushes. There's where the old uh, house well was. So right there is where I found the Indian Head Penny before, I think it was 1903. Uh, so um, I'm about to come in that, I was headed in that direction. We'll see what we can find. Stay tuned. The sun is setting. I may have to do a little night hunting. I do have the backlight on the AT Max, so I'm excited about that can barely see the sun setting behind the trees way in the distance. All right, we'll get back with you. Hey there, just dug uh, right here. I think part of a suspender clip, but it's coming up in pieces. Uh, I was just trying to wet it down so I can get some of that crud off of it, see if I could get the riding. Looks like it might say Shirley. I'm not sure. I'll get it cleaned up and then got part of it over here. Just felt another little piece of it. Gonna see if I can get the rest of it up. But uh, too bad it's in pieces. But uh, still a neat find. All right, stay tuned. Oh, got the AT Max over here in the woods just across the fence back over here you'll see a cow right over the other side of the fence there's a pond over there just across the fence and came along um, I'm using the uh, wireless uh, the Z-Link headphones right now just come over here I just wanted to show you this real quick this is part of a Luna moth it's of course deceased been deceased for a while but just wanted to show you part of a Luna moth um, here, the kind of things you encounter out in the woods. Uh, there's a site over here in a ravine, if I can find it. We're going to hike over there, my father and I, and uh, hike over there and see if we can find it uh, where I had found an old dump site at one time. Uh, see what we can find. We found some mason jar lids and uh, some interesting little items over there before. So we're going to hike over there. And uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. 
sun is starting to set again and the cows are out here in the pasture and uh, let me just show you a little bit of the weeds and all the stuff here I've been metal detecting in and uh, all the iron and uh, some of the stuff I've been digging up this over here I wasn't able to get up yet I'm gonna have to dig on in a long while see if you can see that ring in there can you see it it's huge it goes way down uh, anyway check out all these weeds it's been really tough digging here trying to go amongst all these weeds and I know it's kind of hard to see some of the weeds are as tall as me over here these aren't as much this is closer to where the homestead was but uh anyway just detecting up in here um, right now uh, I'm hunting in zero discrimination uh, in zero mode um, I was hunting in all metal for quite a while the thing about all metal is is you hear everything and it is more of a monotone tone you don't get your higher pitches on your um, um, higher conductivity metals so um, I switched it back to zero so I've been kind of switching it back and forth testing different uh, things on the machine just to get a feel for it but uh, I do love the machine I especially love the Z-Link um, and I'm about to turn the backlight on because the Sun is starting to go down you just press your shift button here and then now the backlight is on it's harder to see right now because the Sun is just now setting but I'm gonna have the backlight on on into the dark and keep hunting along here and see if I can um, maybe cherry pick a coin or so I finally dug one coin my first coin with the AT Max but it was a, a Lincoln um, Memorial 1980 I was really hoping for an older coin out here since I've dug some older coins out here so we'll see I'll keep on plugging along I'll get back with you soon okay so I've got a solid um, 80 on the uh, my new AT Max which is now called uh, Maxine um, I think I've got it out of the hole and it's dead center here in the plug and uh, well it does appear to be maybe a penny so far uh, yeah it's just a memorial let me see the date so far that's all I found is um, is pennies that's one of the only coins I've found so far with the AT Max um, 1982 I think the oldest I've got is 1979 or something like that 75 somewhere in there or maybe 72 I can't remember but um, anyway it's a coin I'm happy to have it I'll keep on plugging along I don't have much more time to hunt so um, I'm about to head back home just got my first non-penny <laughs> a 1983 quarter anyway um, I'll take it see you on the next
Copper wire. All right, now time for the wrap up. So these are all the things that I found at the old farm. Um, if you watched any of my past videos, you will see a lot of the finds I found there. Um, lots of iron implements, uh, usually a lot of farm implements and iron uh, from an old cast iron stove. Uh, I'm not sure what that went off of. Um, and I've just got lots of bits of iron. Get, get dig one really old. This would have been pulled by horse horses. A little copper pipe. Um, I did make it over to that um, old dump that I found in the woods there. I uh, had found some old mason jar lids there and then did get this old uh, Colgate lib uh, uh, toothpaste uh, in that old dump there. Um, as for my favorite finds that I found out there, did get the axe head, um, did get this pin here, um, and I think that would have went into the back end of a tractor to pull something, is what I was told anyway, because it has a pin here. At first I thought it was something that would have stuck in the ground and you would have tied your horse to, but the cool thing is that this still swivels. That's one of my favorite little iron pieces there that I found. And then I always love finding the old Lucky Horseshoes. Uh, I've got one there, and you would have saw that on film. Then I did get um, my little horse ring ringies. Uh, it's got a hook. I've found those out there before. Not sure what that spoke thing went to. Um, and then did get this here. When I first dug this out of the hole, I thought that might be part of a, a belt buckle of some a buckle of some sort but apparently it's not I'm not sure what it is it is copper so maybe somebody knows um, then um, did get some shotgun shells and um, full of casing and then two of these I've gotten these in the past uh, accordion reeds and did get the suspender Shirley suspender clip part of one I did get this I found one of these previous um, and I think it's part of the snap that belongs to an old canteen is what I found out um, that one may have some writing on it I may have to clean it up if there is anything on it I'll flash it across the screen did get uh, these coins the only coin that I got those uh, near the school where I was hunting earlier I uh, did get one penny on the farm, 1980, my very first coin with the AT Max. I was really hoping for some silver, but not this time apparently. Um, but back to the old school finds. Oh wait, before that, I did get this really neat copper thing. I'm not sure what it was or went to. Maybe the top of something. Anyway, neat find. Um, then um, my modern coins clad coins uh, from uh, near the old school and then down to my favorite find from the old school I got this sorry it's very sunny and hot out here I'm getting a shadow I apologize but um, I'm gonna hold this up it's in pieces but it does say frigid air air spelt like a I R E and um, let me see if I can zoom in there. A uh, product, I think, of General Motors. And then it has, it was made in Dayton, Ohio, USA, right here on the bottom. I looked it up on the internet, and the only ones I could find weren't as old as this. They were more made out of aluminum. So I'll see if I can find any more information on that and see when that company I know we've all heard of that company see if I can find out when it started and maybe find an original piece it's not all torn up but nevertheless I really like that find that is cool so um, 
anyway let's see I'll take one more quick overview of what I found so you can see um, did get this weight I think it's like a 15 pound part of a weight at the school the old school and then, then I did get an old marker here and this is copper got that little copper thing found a or a cow tooth at the farm. That's about it for this hunt. Um, I may, uh, oh, one other thing, I think it was the old door handle to maybe an old Ford car or something. Um, it's what I think it is. But anyway, is it. We'll see you. Um, that is it. Thank you very much and uh, happy hunting to all. Hi there. Guess what time it is? It is mail call time. And I just received a package from uh, Myers uh, Detecting Metal Detectors in um, Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to show you all the goodies Phil sent me. And uh, these goodies are for you. Um, these goodies I'm going to be giving away on my channel. Uh, you must be subscribed to the channel. Um, that will be one of the rules. But I'm going to be giving these away to my subscribers. And I'm going to do a drawing once a week. So you're not going to want to miss. Um, you're going to want to... Um, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and and click on that bell so you get alerts when I upload a video So you'll know when to enter the drawings. I'm going to be doing a different drawing every week But first let me show you what I'm going to be giving away. So I've got Phil sent me three Myers metal detecting uh, hats He also sent me two metal signs and these are awesome these are heavy-duty metal signs. They say treasure hunter parking only. And then uh, we've got two books, uh, In Search of Treasure. This is published by White's, um, published by White's Metal Detecting. And um, here it has Myers metal detectors information on the back, which I'll be putting across the screen. Um, so I've got two of those books, and these are my favorite. I got two of these. I'll pull one out of the package, but I'm not going to open the full package here. This has magnifying glass in it, and it has uh, the guide book of United States coins, uh, the 70th edition, 2017. Now this is what I use for my coins, uh, except my edition isn't as nice as this one. Mine is paperback, or this one is hardback. So this is a really, really nice gift, but I love the magnifying glasses in there because... <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been losing my voice a little. But this has um, the magnifying glass in there so you can get a closer look at the dates and things on your coins. And so we've got two of those. And what's really cool has some tre treasure pouches. Um, these are really nice and it has all of um, Myers metal detecting info. Um, on the front and so I've got three of those also each giveaway I'll be giving away some stickers we've got the Myers metal detector stickers and these are great to put on your car window and even got have some fun um, tattoos with a uh, five dollars off um, any metal detector or scoop 
um, and rentals. So that's really neat, a little tattoo thing. You just the, pull the back on the tattoo, and it's got that. And then I'll also send one of his um, business cards in there with, you, with it. Um, if you didn't watch my beach video, my Florida beach video, I would recommend go back and watch it. Um, when I went to Florida recently, uh, my metal detector went out and I rented a machine from, from Phil from Myers and a uh, great service there and a uh, great guy. And he'll be able to help you with any questions you may have on purchasing any detectors or any questions you may have. Um, on servicing, uh, rentals, all kinds of goodies like that. Uh, so be sure and check his website out. So I just wanted to thank you, Phil, and thank all of my followers, and stay tuned for some wonderful uh, drawings that I'll be uh, giving away. Thank you. Bye-bye.